What's shaking bacon? In today's video, we're gonna discuss six positive aspects of the starting the carnivore diet. So before we get into this video, I just want you to know there's not going to be a lot of editing with this. So you might hear a lot of ums and ahs and some more pauses than you might normally hear because I have some news. I ended up getting a puppy just tonight and it really put me behind schedule. This little girl's name is yet to be determined and we're going to figure out what her personality is before I name her. I'm leaning towards Gwen. But anyway, um, I'm going to keep looking. So aside from that, here's little Gwen. Hey, buddy. Oh, you little girl. Gwen's had a busy day. She had a long car ride back and she got car sick on the way here. She's very gentle, but energetic and playful. So anyway, we're going to get into today's video. And one of the first things people notice when they start this carnivore eating because it's a zero carb diet and a high fat diet it's the same benefits lots of people get when they do keto and that's the mental sharpness it's like the this brain fog you didn't realize that was there goes away and it's really nice to feel that like through the day you, you're just a little more mentally sharp normal so it's a nice side effect to uh, being fat adapted that's what happens when people use carbohydrates as fuel which most of us do and when we end up switching over to a uh, diet where we become fat adapted, for some reason, uh, it usually takes a few days, maybe a week, and you get this mental clarity. It feels really good. You also get that, by the way, if you do fasting. You get into about a two or three day fast and you get this mental clarity. It sounds weird because you think you wouldn't get a mental clarity. You'd, you'd only be obsessed about food. Now, that's not what happens. And especially if you're fat adapted when you're doing any sort of fasting, which I don't really recommend, but for some people that like to do it, all the more power to them. But the one thing you do get with that is mental clarity. And it's amplified when you do fasting and it's really good when you're doing straight keto or carnivore. Next, the one thing you notice right away within a few days is joint stiffness goes away by probably about, I like to say about 80%, which feels dramatic because you think it's completely gone after just a few days. But what happens is the next week you feel even better. And the week after that, you feel even better than that. And it proceeds to go along that trend for a few weeks in a row. Um, you end up thinking like, how much better am I gonna keep feeling? Last week I thought I couldn't feel any better. And then this week I feel even better. So it's quite interesting to see uh, how good you feel and how good your joints feel. I've had some people say they feel 20, 30 years younger. Um, you can go on any of these zero carb groups on Facebook and you'll see people say that. You know, I'm 47 and I feel honestly as good as I did when I was 35, easily. I would even go as far as to say when I was 30. So uh, my joint stiffness is gone. When I wake up in the morning, I just sit up and get out of bed and walk. There's no standing upright and straightening out or anything like that. It's just a really nice feeling. Um, when you're sitting on a couch for a while or a chair and you don't feel like your joints are stiff. No, you still feel a little bit of stiffness. You know, if you sit in an awkward position for a long period of time and your legs were bent underneath you, yeah, it's not like everything goes away and you automatically act like you're 20 years old again, but it's a dramatic difference how good you feel when your joint stiffness goes away. Another thing people often have is their snoring goes away. Now that often happens within a couple weeks. The first time I ever went zero carb, I did it with a doctor out of a, a city close by where I live. And I noticed that I was still having, keep, I was keeping some carbohydrates in my diet. It was lettuce and pickles. And what happened was, as I lost weight, my snoring got better. And that's good news, that's to be expected, right? Big guy started at over 450 pounds, loses weight uh, month by month. It's, you know, I was losing 30 pounds a month. It was quite a bit every month. and my snoring got dramatically better and it was really nice, but um, that just coincided with my weight loss. When I went strict zero carb for the first time, where I went strict carnivore, my snoring went away within a week or two. And that's the amazing part, along with the arthritis and the, the, the joint stiffness that clears up. It's not a big guy thing or a big person thing. It's interestingly enough, uh, inflammation thing. So within a 
couple of weeks, those things clear up and take care of themselves. And you tend to sleep better because of it. And when you wake up and you're around through the day, your joints feel better. So it's just an all around win. Uh, I think my little girl appreciates this too. She's too young to feel that type of discomfort, but she's a heavy breather though. I bet you she's breathing right into the mic. So that leads us into that third one where you're getting better quality sleep. And not only are you getting better quality sleep because typically your snoring goes away if you do snore, you get by on less sleep for some reason when you do carnivore. People start, I used to get by on eight to nine hours of sleep on a regular crappy diet, um, a really poor version of a you know, standard American diet. But when I went to a zero carb carnivore diet, I get by on five, six hours sleep a night. Um, in fact, it's frustrating that I only get five because I want to get six at least. And I have to take sleep aids sometime or maybe sometimes eat before I go to bed just so that I can be a little more tired when I'm asleep. Um, you know, kind of like wipe me out a little bit. But typically I get by on five or six hours sleep a night and I have great energy all through the day, which also leads us into our next topic. Great energy, even keel all through the day. You don't get tired windows throughout the day. You don't get to two o'clock in the afternoon and hit a lull because that's often your sugar that's all messed up. When you switch over to a carnivorous diet where there's no carbohydrates, what happens is your blood sugars regulate. And because your blood sugars regulate, uh, that's really important for people that are pre-diabetic or diabetic or just anyone who's overweight because quite frankly if you're overweight you have an insulin resistance problem and that's why you're overweight because it's not letting you access your fat as fuel because your insulin is too high and it's out of balance so when you balance your sugar your insulin balances and then you're allowed your body lets you use your fat as fuel so it's just a wonderful way to go um, that's probably some of the more important things that happen to you commonly with anyone on a, car a carnivore diet, typically, especially when they're in their 30s or 40s uh, and up, they'll notice these benefits. Oh, who's a little cuddle mic? So cuddling with my mic, I'm sure. Um, the other thing is, believe it or not, it's really easy to do. It's affordable and really easy. Uh, it sounds like it's, oh, I could never live off of a diet like that. And it sounds very expensive. When you get red meat at $3 a pound or $2.50 a pound, that's not an expensive way to live if you're only having two or three pounds of meat a day. It's very affordable. You know, certain cuts of chicken are very affordable too. You get your meats on sale, it's a really affordable diet. You actually save a lot of money, especially if you try to not eat out. If you're going to eat out, it's going to get expensive. But if you're not eating out, it's very affordable. Now. The other thing about why it's so easy is you tend to only eat once or twice a day. You're not eating three, four, five times a day like some ways. I used to do a bodybuilder's diet and that's a six meals a day minimum, sometimes even seven or eight. And yeah, like you're always prepping and thinking about your next meal and there's a lot of work and time that goes into all that. And you're, it's mentally exhausting and then you have to prepare a couple times a week or even if you're just cooking every, every day and you know, you're cooking breakfast, lunch and dinner, that kind of goes away when you do carnivore because you tend to only eat once or twice a day, because, especially if you have red meat as your major food group in your diet versus say chicken where you're going to be more hungry and you're going to eat more frequently. But when it's red meat, you really just end up eating once or twice a day and it's because of the fat content. And so you're cutting out one of your three macronutrients, which is the carbohydrates, and you're left with this poor little guy. I think he's asleep. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, you cut out one of your three uh, macronutrients and you're left with the other two. Your body becomes more fat adapted. Uh, you're not using that dirty fuel, which is carbohydrates and everything works easier. And it's just life becomes more simple because what I'll do some days is I'll cook ground beef in the morning, eat my amount. Um, sometimes I'll have a pound and a half or two, two pounds of meat. Uh, and then I don't really eat for the rest of the day until dinner. And sometimes I'll have a light dinner. If I did a workout, I'll eat a little bit more, but I'm not even hungry all day long. So you're not thinking like you're not getting these sugar crashes and you're not thinking about your next meal. It's very easy and simple. So even if you end up having a busy day and you know you're gonna have a long day, if you have a nice big breakfast with ground beef or steak, 
you're going to be satisfied all day and you're not going to care that it's seven, eight or nine o'clock before you have an opportunity to eat again. And even if you do, you can always find ways to bring that into your diet. Grocery stores have pre-cooked meat. You know, you can go to the odd place. Kelly Hogan's famous for going to McDonald's and getting burger patties. And I'm a bit of a local celebrity for that as well. When I get really busy and I did it just today, I actually done it two or three times in the last few days. I've got a McDonald's and just got burger patties. I know it sounds gross, but believe it or not, McDonald's has really good quality burger patties compared to most other fast food chains. So there's a lot of benefits to doing this. And I would say those are the top six. See how you'd like it. You might surprise yourself. January is World Carnivore Month. And even if you're watching this video on another month, make your month a World Carnivore Month. Start with just one week. And you'll find there's some really positive benefits you get to by the end of the week after you go through a lot of the worst withdrawals. So the withdrawals do suck in the first few days. But week after week, you start to feel better and stronger than you originally did before you ever started this way of eating. So. This little guy's literally asleep in my hands. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go and uh, try and take him out for a little walk before we go to sleep. I've got to figure out, uh, I got to bring a cage into my bedroom, I guess, because he's crate trained. So <laughs> I'm a rather comfortable guy and uh, it was easy for him to fall asleep in my arms. He's had a big day. So thanks for watching this video. Oh, big breath, big sigh. If you enjoy this video, subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Do what you like. Hope you're doing well. Take care. And I'm recording this right before the end of the year. So if anyone's watching this, please have a safe holiday and drive responsibly.